considering the size of the beast, I cannot reach the power source. Unless we can find a way to attack it from within. I shall share a part of the ancient dragon's power. We shall look for an opening to go. turning into hostility. Go! The all-devouring narwhal cannot resist its instinct to devour. Continue to trigger its hostility. Chance will present itself. I have granted you my protection. Do not fear. Seize the moment and use my power to suppress its root from within. Thanks for helping with the cleanup. It should have been my job, but... Oh well. It was just supposed to be a short private training session for me. I didn't think that my disciple and my master's pet would start brawling in the meantime. Well, actually, I had a feeling that it would happen at some point. But they bumped into one another earlier than I thought. What a blunder. I suppose I'll have to swing my sword three million times as penance. That power... Who are you, exactly? Uh, Paimon has an idea. From what she said earlier, she must be Child's Master. Skirk, right? It's just that he gave us the impression that she was the... less... talkative person. I simply did not have anything to say to the weak. But you, on the other hand... Managed to defeat the all-devouring narwhal without using power from beyond this world. So you may speak to me as equals.
I have to agree. It's a strange use of a planet's primordial waters just to raise an all-devouring narwhal. That kind of power is wasted on it. It's not cooperative, it eats too much, and I have more important things to do with my time than pet-sitting. The only thing that creature has going for it is its looks. All in all, it fails as a pet. Hey, uh, Miss Skirk, uh, I think you might have missed the point. The point being? Well, being that this pet almost destroyed an entire nation. So what sort of person is your master? Well, child's master's master. Wait, is that right? Oh, right. So you don't know him. Sorry, I assumed you did. His name is Sir Tologi. I am unfamiliar with that name. Huh. So Master is insufficiently famous. Hmm. How should I describe him then? Have you heard of the name The Fowl? The Fowl? Still nothing? Well, how about the Visionary? Vetterfulnir then? Or Gold Rhine Daughter? She's Albedo's mom, right? Oh, so you do know that name. To be honest, I also heard all of those names and titles from my master. I don't actually know them either. But I suppose you understand now, yes? My master is likely a similar sort to Rhine Daughter. They are both pursuing some form of perfection. Wait, didn't you also mention a visionary person? Paimon didn't quite catch their name. Actually, never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you that the all-devouring narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. As such, the fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. In other words, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the Heavenly Principles. <laughs>